Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. Day 5 of the Garland Moon, year 1157. Clear skies. I picked some flowers for her and returned home. The look of joy on her face at the sight of these flowers will be even more beautiful than the flowers themselves? Yeesh, that is enough. His entries from before your birth are full of such romantic blatherings as that. Oh. It must be deeply moving you to hear such things, but now is not the time for whimsy. Someone is here. You do not wish for them to see you in this state, so pull yourself together. I thought I might find you here, Teach. Not the type to wallow in solitude, huh? That's a relief, let me tell you. So, what were you reading? Is that Gerald's... So it is. Hey, maybe this has some entries from when Geralt left the monastery. Is that so? He was the captain of the knights, but something made him leave the monastery in a hurry. If it has something to do with your birth, knowing what happened may get us closer to knowing what secrets the church is hiding. Teach, would you mind letting me read that diary? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please, allow me to borrow it. I'm forever in your debt, Teach. If you'd refused, I would have had to sneak in here in the dead of night. I wasn't looking forward to the prospect. Anyhow, let me fill you in on what's been going on lately, and not just as thanks for pointing me to that diary. Rhea dispatched the knights to various locations in a frantic search for the enemy. There's a rumor that she's already secured some information. Something big is going to happen soon. That has me wondering. If you find out where the enemy is, what will you do about it? If you ask, I... No, scratch that. All of us students would gladly lend a hand. Even if that means going against Rhea's wishes. Don't forget it. Now go. Everyone's worried about you. You'd better show them you're in good spirits. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Duskar and Enmar. 
All so that you may acquire the strength you need, all for a purpose. Professor, I have a request for you. Would you accept me into your class? I'm sure I would learn so much more if I could study with you. Will you give me that chance? I can? Thank you! You won't regret this. I'm going to give it my all. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> what a nice aroma. I really enjoy this tea. Thank you. Quite delicious. Yes. Yes, I agree. what your favorite food is. Meat? Veggies? Fish, perhaps. Oh, or maybe sweets. Yes, I agree. Hmm? Is this for me? Thank you. <laughs> Strength and stamina are necessary for fighting on horseback as is footwork. What? Is there something on... Are you sure? What? What? Is there something on my face? Thank you for the treat. I had such a great time. Thank you. 
Marianne, please accept my apologies for my behavior yesterday. I'm not sure what you mean. Asking you about your family like that was pretty insensitive of me. No matter how curious I am, that's no way to treat someone. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You weren't being insensitive. I just didn't want to talk about it. I don't spend much time talking about myself. Not to people, anyway. If not people, then with who? Unpeople? <gasps> Non-people? Well, yes. I'm much more comfortable talking to anyone who isn't a person. I was actually joking, but now I'm mystified. Who is it you like to talk to? Dorte the horse. Ah, of course. Good old Dorte. And does he understand what you tell him? We understand each other. He tells me when he's sleepy, or when his stomach hurts, or if his nose itches. Sounds like a complainer, that Dorte. But let's table this fascinating discussion for just a moment. Now that we've gotten in some small talk, I'd like to know what you're hiding. You are hiding something, right? Your lineage, perhaps? Uh, no. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If it's all just idle gossip, that's fine too. But if it's something silly like, my ancestors were cursed, therefore I'm cursed, you should know that I won't accept that nonsense. That sort of thinking is stupid, and that's all there is to it. Say your ancestors were thieves. Does that make you a thief, even if you've never stolen a thing? Of course not. But people have burdens to bear from the moment they're born. My burdens are so big that I... I'm sorry, I can't discuss this anymore. People certainly are born with burdens. She's right about that. But Marianne, don't you know that you can choose not to carry them? Ah, there's yet another option. Lawrence, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Hilda. I'm using these pieces to represent soldiers on the battlefield. This will allow me to better visualize concepts of strategy. Very good. Is it fun? Oh, it is utterly engrossing. Look, swap out just certain pieces for others, and the board completely changes. Then, even considering the same types of units, employing different individuals calls for a new set of plans. Oh, I see. Or, I kind of see. It's hard for me to grasp really complex things like this. Nonsense. It's thanks to your many requests that I've been adapting my fighting style of late. Working to accommodate you has convincingly shown me how essential it is to rethink tactics on a continual basis. After all, the risk of getting hurt is greatly reduced if you are prepared for any situation. So now I will be ready for anything. Lawrence, you're so wonderful, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not just saying that to flatter you either, honestly. Tell me something, Hilda. Did you make all of these ludicrous requests of me purely so that I might have the opportunity to develop myself? Because if so, I am deeply moved. Thank you for caring so thoughtfully and passionately for my personal growth. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> if you will permit me to return the favor, I do have one request to make of you. Will you hear me out? Uh, I'm not usually one for fielding requests, but I can make an exception in your case, I suppose. I would be so pleased to have the opportunity to observe you in action, in the heat of battle. Would you be so kind as to oblige me? Oh, very well. You've convinced me. But if it gets too intense, you'll help me out, right? <laughs> I might have borrowed one too many books this time. And I have to return them at some point. Ah! What's going on? Everything okay? Ugh, just my luck. Lysithia? Oh, wow. Look at the mess you made. Thank you for the assistance. I can take it from here. Were you planning on carrying this much weight on your own? Don't be ridiculous. You should have at least asked for help. They're all books I need for my studies, and it's my own responsibility. No need to involve others. I'm happy to help you carry some of them. How about Ab? That's fair, right? No, 
Really, I have this. I am not incapable, and I'm not a child. <laughs> as smart as you are, you sure are a silly person. I'm so tough. I'm gonna stand my ground. I don't need help from anyone. And when things don't go my way, I'm gonna act all sad and moody. You are remarkably talented at channeling me. Huh? Oh, no. Sorry. I was imitating my little sister. Her name's Maya. She's way smart, but she can be pretty stubborn. You remind me of her. W what I mean to say is that I want to help. So swallow your pride and ask. <sighs> I'll be carrying the stack of books now. Got a problem with that? Yeah, yeah. You seem obstinately determined to go against my wishes. All right. Is this a good spot to drop them? Hey, what are you doing? They need to be stacked neatly, otherwise they'll topple. This one needs to be rearranged, otherwise the rest won't fit properly. Wow, talk about picky. You're the one who was so insistent on helping. If you're going to help, do it right or don't bother. Fine, fine. If you must weep, then weep. I shall be here for you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. You gotta keep yourself active during tough times, Professor. Even if it seems impossible. That's how I got through it when I lost my parents. If you need help with anything, just come and see me. Eating and training are my specialties. I'm not even close to being strong enough. I mean, Gerald was so much stronger than me, but even he... That's enough. I can't dwell on the past. There's no way to know what my future holds, but I do know one thing. Whatever happens, I have to make my own way in this world. I have to keep pushing so I can grow even stronger. Professor, I'm so sorry about what happened to Gerald. No. Of course, my sorrow is nothing compared to yours. The Knights are even now searching for our enemy's whereabouts. They are to report back the moment they find something. If you desire revenge, Professor, you can count me in.
what happened to Gerald. I am sorry. There are no words. Leave some flowers on his grave for me. Hello there. I'm scared. I feel that I don't understand the world. How could something like that happen to Gerald? He was so strong. You're inspiring, Professor. I'll do my best. Gerald's gone. He's gone. And we'd only just reunited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is even harder on you. But I just can't... I can't believe... Sorry. I never quite know what to say at times like these. Just don't push yourself too hard too soon. It's okay to allow yourself to be sad right now. Losing someone dear to you. Well, each loss is unique, but it's a feeling I know very well. That said, Professor, I... Professor, 
thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. <laughs> Welcome! Come back soon. What? What do you require? Do you want to hire this? Nice to meet you. Farewell. This one? Thank you. Please come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I this one, yes? I this one, yes? I this one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A you have a good eye. A plate. You have a good eye. A plate. You have a good eye. A plate. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Do you have time for a request? I trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? Why did he have to go and die? It's too awful. He didn't deserve it. Professor, got a minute? Look, I'm sorry I snapped at you. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I was rude to you. I should have known better. Huh, I thought you might say that. In that way, you're just like Captain Gerald. You accept other people. You don't let petty details get under your skin. Well, when I was a kid, I kind of latched onto him. I've been calling myself his apprentice ever since. He spent some time in the village I grew up in. Actually, you weren't with him back then. Why not? Huh. Maybe he left you with a relative or something. Anyway, back then, Gerald's job was to deal with poachers. Well, they were bandits, but we called them poachers. Nobody in the village could stand up to them. But your dad, he took them on like it was nothing. I was so impressed. All I could think was how amazing mercenaries were. I'd lived in that tiny village my whole life, so to me, Captain Gerald was nothing short of a legend. So I went right up to him and I told him I was going to be his apprentice. He didn't stick around long after that, but he did teach me a lot while he was with us. Tactics, strategy, training routines, it was all so new and exciting. So after he left, I kept at it, kept training, just like he taught me. Me too. 
I always planned to meet him again once I became a top-tier mercenary. But I'm just glad I got to see him, to thank him properly and all. I've spent my whole life working to become a great mercenary like your father. There were so many times when I wanted to ask his advice, but I couldn't. I just had to make do. That's how I've made it this far. Just hard work, all on my own. But then you come along. And it's like you don't appreciate Captain Gerald at all, or how lucky you were to have him around your whole life. No, oh, it still really bothers me. You might be his kid, but I'm still his best apprentice. Got it? Professor? I, um, I brought some flowers for Gerald. It's the least I can do. Sometimes I feel like all I do is run away. Anyway, I'll go lay them out. I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, looking for anything we might find useful. There is a group of people who want to kill us, after all. What? This is no time for asking permission. I learned long ago that one can ask permission or forgiveness. It is rarely useful to request the former. Still, it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying, so... <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. Of course, I'll put them back when I'm done, assuming they bear no additional use. When I heard that Monica was with the enemy, I was surprised by how unsurprised I was. Something was just off about her. It's hard to explain. That said, whenever she had free time, she was always hanging around with the Edelgard. I wonder if Edelgard is also... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm just being paranoid. Please ignore me. Dark expressions don't suit you, Professor. But I'm... Well, I'm glad to see you out in the world again. It seems this month will be a quiet one around here. There aren't many knights around to liven things up. Most of the knights are gone, seeking out the enemy. Isn't that a bit much? I agree it's important, but is it a good idea to neglect the safety of the monastery? What do you think, Professor? I agree. We can send some knights after our enemies, but so many? It makes the church seem reckless. <sighs> um, Professor? Do you think we'll still be able to graduate? If dangerous things keep happening around here, who even knows? I'm worried. I hope that all the students and professors will be there to celebrate at the graduation ceremony. There's no one here who has not heard tales of Gerald's valor. We have suffered a most dear loss. I do not know what the enemy's aim was, but I do know this. After what they have done, we cannot suffer them to live. If there is anything I can do to ensure that justice is brought swiftly, you need only give the word. Thank you. I am here for the invitation. A fresh and fruity aroma. Oh, yes, this is my kind of tea. Thank you.
settles nicely on the palate. Oh? Splendid! I am not mindlessly following my father. When it is time to make a choice, I decide what I will do. Do you think so? This was wonderful. Next time, I will provide the tea. Farewell. with the bad guys. If I hear someone say that, I'll... Leave it alone, Hilda. It doesn't matter. That would be the quickest way to resolve this. Come on, Marianne. Let's give it our all. Teach. Hey, Teach, do you believe in gods? I don't necessarily mean the goddess of the Saros religion, just gods in general. Do you believe that incredible beings who control the fates of all really exist? Hmm, that's not the answer I was expecting. Though, honestly, I've recently become a bit of a believer myself. I've always hated the idea of praying to a god. After all, you can only really rely on yourself. I still believe that. You can't win a war by leaving your fate in the hands of a god. Only tangible facts can really decide a war. Which side has the most troops, the best tactics, the better organization and planning? Of course, miracles can happen. And by that, I mean things that are completely outside of your control. Things that only seem to add up if you believe in the concept of fate. Things like, well, like meeting you, for example. You just seem sort of impossible. I think everyone would agree with that. You can wield the sword of the creator. You're a tactical genius, and you have this strange ability to earn the trust of anyone you cross paths with. Before I met you, I never imagined that it was possible for someone like you to exist. And yet, now that I know you, your presence in my life has quickly become invaluable. In fact, it's hard to imagine making my dreams come true without your help. Because of that, I can't believe for a second that our meeting was just a coincidence. That means it must have been fate. Maybe it was a miracle. Or maybe some god empathized with me in my dreams. Again, I don't mean the goddess of Fodlan. Though, I suppose it may be hard for you to grasp what I'm talking about. People all over the world have different ideas about who or what the gods are, right? Even in distant lands across the ocean or over the mountains. They have gods who see the world as a whole who don't care about Fodlan's borders, who don't meddle in our affairs, who don't grant life or take it away. And maybe, sometimes, they'll make a miracle happen. A god like that, that's the sort of god I think I could believe in. Careful, Teach. You'll anger the followers of Saros if you say things like that. I'm just speaking my mind, that's all. I think people should be free to believe in whatever gods they want. If a person believes in a god and that god becomes a support system for them, that's a good thing. That's what a god should be. Anyway, maybe I've overstepped a bit. I knew you'd understand. In any case, let's keep this conversation between the two of us, yeah? Oh. 
I teach. I see the storm in your eyes has passed. You're looking much better. I've been reading Gerald's diary. The baby he mentions. That's you, isn't it? I can't understand about half of what's written here. But Gerald really cherished you. That much is clear. Lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. I do not see what is impossible about it. All I said was that if you want to go back to Bridget, you probably can. You are the Empire's guest, so to speak. They cannot afford for something bad to happen to you. There would be a diplomatic incident. Someone close to us has turned up dead. So one could argue that you are not safe here anymore. I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. No, look, I did not mean to pressure you. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Professor? What happened to Gerald? It's terrible. If there's anything I can do, simply ask. Even if what you desire is revenge, I'll gladly lend you my power. We can't let them get away with this. looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm. I'd like some more. favorite this is my most favorite dish of all I love it almost as much as Christology itself a revelation <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it I would be liking that greatly
This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. smell mm, it's amazing my fave in fact do you like it too this is so good can I have seconds This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. Delicious. After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. Fun! Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice, and... Hey! No peeking! You're okay, Professor. I was so worried. Oh, Professor, you must be starving. Mercy and I made some sweets for you. We were thinking that if you were to eat something sweet, it might help you feel better. <laughs> Baking sweets is my specialty. I'm sure they'll do the trick. I'm so. Oh, we were thinking. Oh, this is mine. Thank you for returning it to me, but how did you know I lost it? <laughs> I'm just losing that set. Yes, that's mine. Thank you very much. I've been looking for it. Oh no. Ah, the other night, I... I had the honor of sharing a drink with Gerald. <laughs> it was pretty tactless, honestly. He could be blunt at times, but he always looked like such a proud, happy father whenever he spoke of you. Professor, I'm sure you will pull through this because you're so strong, Professor. Best to stay calm during such tumultuous and upsetting times. We don't know the nature of our enemies. If we underestimate them, anything could happen. Yes, I agree. I don't want to lose you too, Professor. Some lyrics. 
lyrics lamenting death many times on stage. But when something like this happens in real life, I'm lost. I don't know what to say, but I do know this much. Sir Gerald must have been very proud to have you as his child. Just Tomas, but Monica, too. We can't be sure who to trust anymore, can we? Who are these people, really? What do they want? Goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn, receive them into your blue blood. Receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Geralt is happy in the next world. Again soon. notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> What's the point of singing practice? It's not going to make me stronger. The glory of progress. There's no one here who has no I do not if there is Oh my this is lovely How kind of you Oh, 
kind of you. Professor? It seems this month will be a quiet one, or most of... Isn't that a bit... People say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your sword technique up close. Indeed, I think that's best. I'll transfer to your class then. Don't make me regret it. Professor. How are you doing, Professor? Would you care to join me for a cup of tea? It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. I am quite pleased to hear you're interested. Yes, quite pleased. Well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning, eh? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, mind you, but noble all the same. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest research institution. I had only Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests, at my disposal in the Empire. So I came to Garrick Mark and devoted myself to my research during my time as a professor. My progress is slow, but with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know about Crests. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. Together, we will solve the mystery of your Crest of Flames and our world will be the better for it. Shall we proceed? My lab instruments are fully prepared. I have a great number of tests I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. Anyway... Von Ox. There is nothing suspicious in her past that would suggest this change of character. Her transformation must have something to do with her disappearance last year. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. I wonder who kidnapped her, and why. First Tomas, and now Monica. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. We didn't notice the enemy's invasion, and now Gerald. I... 
I apologize. There is nothing I can say to atone for our sins. Professor, please do not let your guard down even among the people of the monastery. There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. Do I understand how very lucky I am that you were able to save me? Professor, I deeply appreciate what you have done. Thank you. If there is anything at all I can do in return, please tell me, okay? I've never been much for condolences. someone very dear to you. I'm so... You have my sympathy. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but at least we can lighten the load for you. I've always seen strength in your eyes. I know you'll recover. You're a very strong person. something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Gerald. Will you listen? It was a dagger, but I know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger. It wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? who they were. Oh, is something hiding just behind that book? That ring! I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Well... Excuse me. Professor, how are you holding up? I know how heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different person. As if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not understand. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it.
That was easy, thanks to you. <laughs> I could get used to this. It's starting to come together for me. I think I get it now. got lucky. I've learned a lot. I will master this. No problem. <laughs> Nothing to get excited about. No problem.
Hey, can I ask you something? Ah, now there's an idea. Apologies. I lost time while I was training. There are not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I will keep training now. I hope your night is good. I need to have more training. There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done. For the future. I have to try with hardness. Training, studying, Socializing? I will not always be having time to do those things. And speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Why? Because the position of Bridget is weak. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Bridget has great beauty. But little power. We will not have... Uh, 
will not survive unless we get more strength. I will lead Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. Yes, that is why I have to give it my best try. I am an ally of everyone, and I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. That is also why I try with hardness. You can always be counting me. I mean, counting on me. But you should know that one of these days will be when I return to Bridget. Before that day, do not try stopping me from trying. And please, keep watch... watching over me. With you, I can try with more hardness than I could alone. You there, youngster. Won't you listen to this old man's troubles? I was born and raised right here in this town. I spent my whole life here. My daughter lives in the Empire, and she sent me a letter to ask if I was keeping up with my daily worship. Well, hello there, Professor. Is this a friend of yours? Is that so? I was sure you two knew each other. Is there something we can do for you, good sir? Oh, what a lovely young lady. I was just telling this kind soul a story. Really? What's troubling you? Well, I was thinking of going to daily prayer, but my leg's been acting up and I can't walk properly. How terrible. That's no good at all. May I be of assistance? I'd be happy to lend a shoulder and escort you to the chapel. Would you? Oh, I'd be most grateful to you. Thank the goddess for sending this young lady to me today. We'll need your help too, Professor. Here, sir, take my arm. Splendid work, Professor. He really seemed to appreciate our assistance. Putting a smile on someone's face always seems to brighten up the day. Is something wrong? You're giving me a strange look. Oh, mm, how should I put this? I suppose it's just second nature to me. It's difficult to describe, but I can usually tell when someone is worried about something. Back there, I could tell that both you and the old man were in distress. I spent a good amount of my life living in the church. Maybe that's why I'm so good at identifying these things? Did I not mention that before? I spent nearly ten years of my life in the Church of Fargus. Many came to us with their troubles. In my own time of need, I once ran to the church myself, and they helped me. May I share something with you, Professor? It's about a dream of mine. I'd like to work in the church one day. I want to be like the priest who helped me. Never mind. It's not a very realistic dream. Please forget I said anything. If I were someone else, perhaps a commoner without a crest or stature, maybe things would be different. It's a bit sad, but this is the way things have to be. After all, only the goddess can decide our fates. <laughs> So it is you and I, Lysithia? Very well, then. With your two crests... <sighs> Hanuman, would you drop it already? Oh, I beg your pardon. I shall complete the rest of the work in silence. All the questioning was bothersome. Hmm. Oh, yes. Most sorry. At any rate, it seems as if our task is at an end.
It's fun when you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah! Get in the hang of it! I've grasped it! How lovely! I've got it. It all makes sense now. I understand more every day. It's all instinct now. I've never sung a song before, so I don't know if I'm good or bad at it. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. I'm pleased to have been invited. I adore this. Thank you for preparing my favorite tea. I am grateful. Of course. Have you grown accustomed to living in the monastery? Appreciate this. Professor. I see. This crown is rather elaborate, but it has been passed down through generations of archbishops. be nice to gain a better understanding of each other. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. My glasses! Where are they? Where are they? 
Please take my apologies, Ignatz. I did not have enough care. That's okay, Petra. Just... Have you seen my glasses? Glasses? Ah, uh, yes. Transparent lenses for viewing things. Yes, exactly. Yes. Hmm. Your face looks different without the glasses. Ah, well, I dropped them. That's why I'm looking for them. Are these them? Oh, thank the goddess. I thought I might be in trouble there. Are you okay, Petra? You're not hurt? I have no wounds. And you? I'm okay too. Thank you. That is goodness. How long have you needed the lenses anyway? Hmm? Oh, ages. I can't see without them. You've never used glasses, I gather. I guess you don't need them. In Bridget, glasses are not existing. I think all of our eyes must be good there. I kind of figured. <laughs> I'm a little jealous, to tell the truth. Inside the shadows, dangerous beasts are lurking. If you cannot see, you cannot live. So bad eyesight means death? Bridget sounds scary. You need to have sight for hunting, too. If not, you will starve until death. Oh, yeah. Lots of hunting in Bridget, right? I guess that requires good eyesight. I wonder why eyes would change and need lenses. Anything interesting? Let me have a look. Three apples, two bags of ointment, one piece of graphite. Intriguing. Some sort of code, perhaps? Nah, I was just asked to go out and buy the stuff on this list. Oh, that's all? Sorry for interrupting in that case. This is kind of a one-person job, so I won't bother you by offering aid. Mm. You actually helped a lot just now, reading that list for me like you did. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody, because I've been trying to keep it a secret, but... I don't know how to read, so I wasn't sure what to do with the list. Is that so? But why do you keep it a secret? I'd hate it if people figured I wasn't up to a job just because I couldn't read. You're always welcome to call on me for help. I'd be happy to. Thanks. I will. I really mean that. Anything you need. Okay. Good. Now, you'd better go get those supplies before it gets dark. Do you remember everything on the list? Need me to read it one more time for you? That would be pretty helpful, actually. All right, listen up. I'm not gonna do this a third time. Lysithia's not a good liar, is she? She knew I was in trouble right away. Hang on, did she just want to act like a big sister again? But she looked real happy when she was helping me. And I think I'd like to see that smile again sometime. Hello, Leone. I imagine you are here to fish? Yeah, this is a great spot for it. You must be a pretty experienced fisherman, huh? Actually, while I have enjoyed the hobby for a long while, I must admit I am less than proficient. Now that you mention it, I can see you're not having much luck today. It is likely because I am not using any bait. Well, that explains it. But why bother fishing at all if you're not even trying to catch something? Truthfully, I fish only so that I might relax. It is soothing to me to cast the line and watch the water ripple. My days are busy, even hectic. It helps to find peace and quiet every so often. Oh, that makes sense. Still, if you're going to go to all the trouble, you may as well actually bait the line. Maybe so. But to my chagrin, 
I do not even know what type of bait to use. I learned to fish by accompanying my wife. She was always the one to bait the hooks. She would hand me the rod, and I would cast my line. I never paid attention to how the rest was done. Ah. And your wife? Where is she now? She passed away quite some time ago. Since then, I have only to fish on my own. Even so, I, I find peace out here. Bait or no bait. What about you? Why do you fish? Me? Just for the fish, actually. For me, it's purely practical. Catch a bite now, one less meal to worry about later. Hunting, fishing, whatever it takes to get by. That's how I've always done it. I'm not exactly starving right now, but back then, if I couldn't catch something, I'd go hungry. So getting the hang of it was pretty vital. <laughs> I would certainly say so. I imagine it is intensely satisfying to catch a fish when the need is so great. Probably, yeah. The need makes it more... purposeful. But hey, if you ever want to try fishing for real, I'd be happy to share my bait with you. And if you catch something, I'll cook it up nicely for you. How's that for motivation? Oh, are you a skilled chef also? Can't promise it'll be fancy, but it'll taste good. Impressive. Wouldn't you know it, I am suddenly overcome with the urge to accept. Great! Let's get started. So, basically, we just gotta defeat their leader, right? Then why don't we approach from... Uh, that won't work at all. Horses won't fit through there. I can't figure this out. I give up. But enemies never move how you want them to in a real battle, do they? I reckon I learned better on the battlefield. Professor, I need to speak with you. Ignatz, you alright? I received a letter from my brother back home. There's some disturbing news. Monsters have been attacking merchants within the Alliance territories. That happens all the time. I mean, that's how my parents died, so... Uh, Raphael. I didn't mean to bring up such a sensitive topic in your presence. Hey, don't worry about that. Come on, let's hear the rest of it. Very well. These attacks seem to be focused on specific merchants. Those who are traveling from the territory of House Gloucester to the Regan Dukedom. Merchants traveling in the opposite direction, from Regan to Gloucester, don't suffer nearly as many attacks. That doesn't make any sense. Someone's gotta deal with those monsters, though. Agreed. At this rate, my father and brother can't conduct business without risking their lives. Professor, could you assist me? I need your help exterminating these creatures. Now you're talking. I'm going too. I'm not learning anything in a classroom. You're gonna go, right, Professor? Don't you want to help these folks? <laughs> yeah, I knew you couldn't resist. Thank you so much, Professor. And Raphael, I can't begin to express my gratitude.
Another chance to improve. I am always up for a new adventure. Let's see what I can do with this. I don't look odd or anything, do I? I feel reinvigorated. I can work with this. I'm eager to learn so much more. Be gone! Look, the monsters are attacking those merchants again. Looks like there's some humans mixed in there. Maybe they're controlling the monsters. They are. Do you think we just have to take out the leader? Let's get started. Before it's too late. <laughs> the merchants could probably escape. But we gotta get rid of those enemies who are blocking the path. Look, a drawbridge. We can use that to cross, but we'll need to lower it first. Stay focused. Leave it to me. I stand ready. You were outmatched. There's still a long way to go. Perfect comprehension. Ready anytime. Whoa! 
Each battle, a chance to grow. Who, me? Ready when you are. Ready and willing. As expected. Appreciate that. Nobles must be strong.
boss. It was a good try. I expected as much. least I could do.
Ready anytime. That helps. Thank you. Stay focused. I stand ready. Much uh. needed. Leave it to me. Stay focused. Ready and willing. Ready when you are.
practice yields results. Ready anytime. Appreciate it. Thank you. I stand ready. Thank you. Just worked harder. Gotta use your head sometimes. This will take some strategy. What's up? You think you can win? battle a chance to grow. This is what I do. idea. Thanks so much. No! 
Sorry. Don't know my own strength. Is that amazing? So nice of you. Appreciate that. What do you think you're doing? Don't get in the way of our duty. Your duty? You're letting monsters wreak havoc on innocent people. Shut it. It's got nothing to do with you. I'll help too. Here's an idea. forward to telling the count looks like we took care of him that man mentioned the count what could count Gloucester have to do with all this
Thank you so much. We're safe now, and it's all due to your efforts. I can't bear to think what might have happened if you hadn't shown up. Yay! A happy ending for everyone! If you don't mind me asking, were you headed to the Regan Dukedom? We were. We traveled around the Alliance selling our wares. I heard this route was dangerous, but... Dangerous, you say? Are you referring to the recent cases of merchants being attacked on that route? That's right. We can't turn a profit without going to Deirdre. I don't know what Count Gloucester is thinking. I had a feeling it might be. You're certain? Looks that way. I think he's unhappy with merchants contributing to House Regan's wealth. It seems like he's been at odds with them forever. They say even the previous Duke Regan's death... Was that the Count's fault too? It's only a rumor. But it was Count Gloucester himself who lured the late Duke Regan out. If I recall correctly, he invited the Duke to his estate to strike a deal on some valuable art pieces. I believe the Duke brought a pair of merchants with him to assess the pieces in question, but... Alas, it seems those merchants lost their lives alongside him. A terrible misfortune. I wish these nobles wouldn't get us common folk mixed up in their feuds. You came from Garrig Mach, right? I'll send some wares your way as thanks for all your help. Yeah, that was my ma and pa. My parents received the request initially, but they had other business. They recommended Raphael's parents as substitutes. We could never have imagined. Yes, he's Lawrence's father. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. It's just a rumor, right? So who cares? Even if it's true, that's our parents' business. It's got nothing to do with us. But you... You got no idea what really happened, right, Ignatz? And I bet Lawrence doesn't know either. The way I see it, it was monsters that killed my parents. They died in an accident. I got no reason to hate anyone or blame somebody else for their deaths. I don't have time for that. I got my little sis to worry about instead. Raphael. Now that that's settled, let's head back. What do you think that merchant's gonna send us? I hope it's food. Yes, he really is. There you are. I was looking for you. I need a favor. Yes, it's an unusual favor. My father sent a messenger. He wants me to return to Faldari's territory. Rodriga Shil Faldarius, the highest ranking member of the Fargus nobility. But about the favor. You're familiar with the tragedy of Duskir, I presume? After the King's death, public order disintegrated. Bandits continue to raid villages across the kingdom, including those within Fraldarius' territory. My father says he needs my help driving the bandits away. Precisely. Good guess. Perhaps I shouldn't pull you into this. It stems from my family's failure to secure the region. But honestly, I want to see you in action. I never tire of watching you fight. And it'll be much more interesting for you than the training ground. Or maybe this task, driving off bandits, seems dull to a former mercenary? Excellent. While I'm at it, I have a second favor to ask of you. Could you recruit more fighters? I bet there will be willing volunteers if you're the one inviting them. I'll set off on my own and meet up with you there. Thank you. 
How far can I take this? Struggling to defeat some bandits? What a pathetic old man my father is. Some villagers are trapped. Let's help them escape. Felix, my son. You finally brought reinforcements. Ready anytime.
pathetic. Struggling to defeat some ragtag bandits. Felix, you may know this already, but no matter how many you kill, more always appear. Anywhere in the kingdom these days, you can see the same kind of scenes. His Majesty, the late king, would despair to see it. A dead man doesn't despair. Besides, let's focus on the living. Leave it to me. Stay focused. You fought well. Ready and willing. Good try. Who, me? Sorry, did I hurt you? Sorry, did I hurt you? I'm still a delicate flower, you know. I stand ready. Thanks for that. Never underestimate an outsider. Everything will be fine. Good people of this hamlet, escape while you can.
This is our chance. Be careful. Improved some. Thank you. Things done. Not 
Think carefully. It all comes down to this. strength. As expected. The stronghold is ours. No more bandits should come crawling out of here. It's not luck, it's fate. Impressive.
Not setting a very good example. No hard feelings, right? Still far from my best. Thanks for that. Sorry. Thanks for that.
Well done. I got this. Plenty more where that came from. I'm good. Let us away. I'll go. Let's get to it. Stay focused. That should do it. We've chased those ruffians away for good. Thank you so much for your assistance. Please, accept this small gift as thanks. We are grateful for your help. I doubt those bandits will stop anytime soon, but at least this village is safe. This village was important to the late king. If we hadn't saved it, I wouldn't have been able to face his majesty. How foolish. Pardon? We were protecting your subjects, not your ego. I don't give a damn as to whether you can bring yourself to face a dead king. I will not tolerate such language from you. I came here to hone my blade and to save innocent people. I suppose if I had died, you would say the same thing you did after Glenn's death. He died like a true knight. I have nothing more to say. I'm going back. I'm sorry you had to see that. He's been that way for four years now. I don't suppose you'd care to hear about it. I lost a son in the tragedy of Dusker. Felix's older brother, Glenn. To this day, I'm proud of Glenn. He gave his life to protect Prince Dimitri. If he had abandoned his highness and fled, I don't know that I could have forgiven him. I would have been deeply ashamed. But no one would have been more ashamed than Glenn himself. It was in his nature to be noble and true. 
As a knight serving the royal family, his duty was to be loyal to the end, even if it meant his life. If he had abandoned that duty and survived the incident, there's no way he could have lived on in peace. Felix can't understand that. He's young and foolish. Of course, I understand his sentiment, to some extent. It all comes down to, well, a difference of opinion. So that's how you feel about it. How fortunate Felix is to have met someone like you. There's nothing as heartening as having someone around who really understands you. He's an odd boy, thick-headed in some ways, but he's my son all the same. I'm glad he has you to look after him. to this. This <laughs> it was only a trifle. What? I got it? Nice! I knew I could get it! Oh, thanks, Professor. That's real nice of you to say. This isn't so hard. expected no matter how old one gets it's always nice to hear job well done but, but.
teach. We'll get this done. Yeah, let's get this done. Happy now? I see. It's all making sense now. I think I get it. I've got it. Got it. Good to go. It all makes sense now. Well worth the effort. It's all instinct now. I actually passed?
have succeeded. Hey, Ignatz. Getting lost in your imagination again? No. Today I am praying. I'm hoping that if I pray with all my might, she will appear before me. The goddess, you mean? Yes. Perhaps it's strange to think about such things. Nah, you're fine. If I had the chance to meet the goddess, I certainly wouldn't say no. Especially your version of the goddess, huh? Total looker, isn't that right? That's a disrespectful way of putting it. I just believe that she's a divine beauty. She'd have to be, considering how she mesmerized the people of Fodlin when she walked among them. Too true. No doubt an incomparable beauty, that one. Funny to think that even now she must be somewhere, right? Well, I guess she's just floating on a cloud or whatnot. Yes, indeed. Watching over us from above. And they say that someday she will return to walk amongst us again. Well, don't mind me. You go ahead and get some good praying in. If the goddess appears, you let me know, okay? What? No! If she does appear, I want it to just be the goddess and me. It'll be way better if I'm there, too. I'm saying this for your benefit, Ignatz. Why? Imagine an incomparable beauty standing before you. Do you really think you'll be able to remain calm? Uh, well, that is to say... But if I'm there, I can smooth things over. Have a nice chat, invite her to tea, everything a goddess deserves. Oh, well, I suppose that makes sense. Of course it does. Now, get on with it. Pray like you've never prayed before. <laughs> As you can see, if we were to face an enemy on this terrain, I would go here, and you would go here. Hang on. If we're trying to repel the enemy, I should be positioned there, correct? Huh? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Take a closer look at this map. See? There's a graveyard over here. Might run into some of those ghosts you hate so much. Claude, will you knock it off already? So help me. If you continue treating me like a child, I'll... Easy there. I I'm sorry, okay? Just don't start blasting off any spells in here. <laughs> I'd more pride than to turn an unarmed soldier to cinders. It wouldn't kill you to speak to me as an equal when we're discussing matters as serious as this. Actually, I see you as more than an equal. There's no questioning the power you wield. And I was being serious about the formation just now. The bit about the ghost was just me having fun with you. Or trying to? You're so smart, I figured you'd catch on to that right away. But back to the formation. Can you see why I arranged it like I did? Hmm. The area I want you to guard requires the ability to adapt to an ever-changing situation. Who else could I trust with such a difficult task? You're my best bet for something like that. Perhaps that's true. Think back to the times we fought together. When have I ever treated you like a child on the battle? I depend on you, Lysithia. I value your power almost as much as I do teaches. Truly? I swear to you on all of Fodlum. I'd like to have my fun, but I wouldn't joke about something like that. I consider you a valued ally. I'll stop now before I inevitably drift back into teasing you again. Just know that I meant every word, okay? 
Fair enough, then. From here forward, see to it that you treat me with the respect of an equal. And... I admit that you are not short on talent yourself. But don't go getting a big head over it. Who is it? It's me, Raphael! Oh, Raphael! I'll get the door. What are you up to? Oh, whoa! What an enormous crate! And look what's in it! Crystal vials, shiny rocks... And I got this, too! Oh, what a splendid flower! And so fresh! Hey, wait a second! Is that for your sister? Yeah, I finally got my hands on something cute! Just like you suggested. That's so nice! But, wait a second. Is this that flower from Fodlin's throat? Of course! I had to run to make it back in time. It was a lot farther than I thought. You ran all that way? And while we're on the topic, aren't these all Myron crystals? Such fine carvings on them. They must be the work of a true artisan. It couldn't have been easy getting your hands on these. I figured I should follow your advice. You know more about what's stylish than I ever could. Well done. I'm sure your sister will be pleased. All that's left is to make that necklace. Yeah, about that. I don't know how to put it together. I've spent so long trying to figure it out that the flowers have started wilting. There are only a few nice ones left. Huh. That's not good. I could try telling you how to make it, but you can't afford to lose any more flowers. Oh, all right. Looks like it's Hilda to the rescue. I'll take it from here. Seriously? You're really gonna help me? Sure. I make myself things from time to time, and this is definitely easier than teaching you how. But you owe me for this. I expect to be paid back. Don't you worry about that. I'll find something really nice to pay you back with. It couldn't have been easy finding all these trinkets. He must really love his sister. Still, older brothers can be so dense. Oh, hey, Marianne. I thought Greenhouse duty was mine today. What are you doing here? Oh, I... Uh... I'm sorry. You've been avoiding me ever since I lost my temper, haven't you? You're probably scared of me now. In the moment, I was hurt. I'm sure you had good reasons to act the way you did. If you want me to leave you alone, I will. I promise, you've got nothing to fear from me. Leone, I... I've watered all the plants, so I'm done here. I'll get out of your way. Uh, wait! Huh? Hey, what is it? It's... Um... I don't mean to bother you. I'm sorry for keeping you here. <laughs> no, not at all. Thanks for keeping me. Honestly, I've been worried about you. If you ever want to talk about anything, just say so. I'll make time. I've been avoiding people for most of my life, so I'm not the best at speaking. I know it's hard. You've been through a lot. But it's worth the extra effort to talk to your friends. I make everyone uncomfortable. I just don't know how to carry on a conversation. Hey, we're having one right now. And I'm telling you, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm actually really happy. So don't worry about me. And it's okay to be quiet sometimes, but... Try to find a middle ground, at least. Otherwise, you'll never get any better. Oh. As far as what to talk about, anything's good. Hobbies, things you like, a dream you had last night. Really, anything. Okay, then. I, um... I like this flower. I think it's nice. I think so, too. 
did you know that where I come from, those have a completely different color? Oh, really? I'd like to see that. Great. Come visit my village someday. In fact, we should invite all of our friends. It'll be fun. Oh, yes. That would be very exciting. <laughs>
sounds fun. Let me show you my cooking talent. A little more secret spice and... Hey! No peeking! smell mm, it's amazing my fave in fact do you like it too i would be liking that greatly today. Perfect for shutting yourself inside, don't you think? I'm glad you get it. With great weather like this, there'll be no one inside to bother us. <sighs> I love feeling like I'm all alone in the world. Oh, that. Well, I guess I can tell you, Professor. My father's obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. To train me to be a good wife, he'd do things like tie me to a chair. I tried hard to do as he asked. Honestly, I did. But before I knew it, I just couldn't bring myself to leave my room anymore. I just had this overwhelming feeling of fear all the time. No matter how hard I tried, my father never thought I was good enough. After that, he was just constant scolding. He couldn't say two words to me without mentioning how useless I was. An unmarriageable girl. My life was isolated, to say the least. I wasn't allowed to play with other kids, let alone make friends. Soon, I stopped wanting that. I was happiest alone, but even that made him mad. And when he tried to drag me outside, I kicked and screamed so much, I seriously hurt myself. He's calmed down a bit in recent years. His constant torment was replaced with complete indifference. He mostly acts like I don't exist now. If you can believe it, I was basically kidnapped. My mother ordered an attendant to stuff me in a bag while I was sleeping. By the time I figured out what was going on, I was already here. For a while, I was sure I was going to die. But here I am. Look at me. Still breathing. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you down talking like that about my past. Just forget everything I told you. There's no point in talking about myself anyway. Idiot! Oh, this is why everyone hates you, Bernie! What? N no! It's not... Oh, Professor! How can you be so kind to me? I don't deserve it. I'm sorry. Please don't look at me. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! 
Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Yummy! Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Delicious? After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. That looks appetizing. This is so good. Can I have seconds? There is no one here. I do not know what the... If there is... Oh my, this is lovely. This is lovely. Thank you. I am here for the invitation. A fresh and fruity aroma. Oh, yes, this is my kind of tea. Thank you. Settles nicely on the palate. Indeed. <laughs> oh. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> Even a noble needs a break now and then. One cannot be at one's best all the time. This was wonderful. Next time, I will provide the tea. Farewell. Huh? Professor, people are saying horrible... There's... Leave it... Yeah.
Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. is everything. This... <laughs> it was only a trifle. The... 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 <laughs> you really think I'm that great? It's... Praises. I would like to do this again sometime. Thank you. 
professor. Huh, your muscles are looking a little bigger than usual, Raphael. I've been training since dawn, so they better be bulging. I'm feeling hopeful. Let's put our hearts into it. Look, Professor. Raphael and his muscles really came through for us. Nah, it's all because of Ignatz's skills. Together, we're unstoppable. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. did pretty well.
Hey there, Petra. Claude? Where are you? Where else? Wait, I'll meet you down there. Claude! I thought you were not able to climb the trees. True, and that is exactly why I worked like a madman to devise a new climbing technique. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Uh, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. By using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch, or a few branches, or all of the branches. But once I got up there and hauled up the ropes, it was the same result as if I'd climbed it your way. I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. But you are not harming the tree, so that is... an advantage. I am liking this technique. You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. I'm surprised that impressed you. The tree has a spirit. If you hurt the tree, you will give its spirit anger. Trees give us food and also shelter. We are needing them, and they are needing us. True. The people of Fodland believe everything is a blessing from the goddess. They've forgotten to be grateful to nature, too. Nature gives us life, sustains us. Without it, we couldn't breathe, couldn't live. It's everything. It's fine to pray to the goddess, but we have to respect nature, too. Don't you think? Yes. I do not know this goddess, but I know nature. That is the knowing I prefer to have. You and me both. Hilda, I'm coming in. Hey, Annette. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> oh, wow. It really is messy. I'm not sure there's even enough room to breathe. <sighs> I haven't been tidying lately. I start to procrastinate when I'm busy. Oh. Hey, how about I clean up for you? Really? That would be amazing! So are you good at cleaning? I love it! Actually, the messier a room is, the more determined I get to conquer the crud. Works for me. I'll leave you to it. Don't want to get in your way. Great! See you later! Annette? Oh no, my face! Oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry! I'll clean it up right! Not again! The, 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 there was a big bug! So big! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Annette, do something! Wait! Not magic! I don't want you to burn my room down! I'm so terribly sorry, Hilda. I wanted to clean up for you, but I basically did the opposite. No kidding. I guess it was my fault for getting you to clean up my mess. At any rate, you've made such a mess of my mess, now I feel motivated to clean my own room. So that's kind of a positive outcome. I guess that's one way to think of it. You know, I really do admire your can-do attitude. Although, it might be, uh, too much. You don't want to overextend yourself. For one thing, you'll tire yourself out. Based on what I just saw, you might even get hurt. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm fine. I've been like this my whole life. I've never wanted to let anyone down. My parents, my uncle. So I always try to give it my all. And it's taken me this far, at least. I guess so. But going all out to please others, never thinking of yourself, that's no way to live. Professor.
enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. Professor? Pristine manners are essential, even if the quality of the food is poor. Wouldn't you agree, Ferdinand? Indeed. We may not care for the meal, but we must show our respect for the person who cooked it. That smell... Mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? I would be liking that greatly. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Ooh, this is my favorite! You've got great taste! That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. to eat when you stare my apologies you and the professor are both so fascinating I simply cannot help myself Lysithia, do you like this kind of food? How is the seasoning? Is it hot enough? Hey, the professor is right here. Can you please stop paying me so much attention? Thanks. like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day.
Nice try. Another one down. Takes care of that. I'll celebrate later. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo! Get it? Lo! Need something? See you again soon. Welcome. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I th this one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Hello there. This one, yes? This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please.
Professor, a pleasure to see you. I was here for confessional. Confessing my foolishness. While I'm at it, may I confess something to you too? I realize what a burden I've been. On you, I mean. After every breakup, I neglect my work, and I know how that affects you. I'm completely worthless as a woman. Can you imagine how that feels? Oh, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I just know it. You think so too, don't you? Really? So if I couldn't find anybody else, you'd marry me? Oh, don't worry. I can tell by the look on your face you didn't mean it. <sighs> What's wrong with me? It's not my looks. I'm still gorgeous. Or am I? Be honest, do I look old? No, not possible. I'm the songstress who swept the Empire off its feet. Men professed their love for me hourly. It can't be my looks. I knew I was right. I'd be in real trouble if I weren't this beautiful. Oh no, if the problem isn't my looks, and they are not the problem, then it must be, what, my personality? I know you're trying to find a way to say it gently, but you think there's a problem, don't you? I suppose I can be a bit unkempt. I do have a short temper, and I may be a little lazy, sometimes. But I've always heard fellas, you know, like a woman with a few flaws. Seems to me there are plenty of flawed girls who have landed themselves a good man. So maybe... My trouble is I'm not imperfect enough. Do you think I could use a few more flaws? Are you saying I'm perfect as I am? Come now, you'll make me blush. <laughs> Teach, Tomas, I mean Solon and his lackeys, their whereabouts have been discovered. Apparently they're lurking in the sealed forest, not too far from the monastery. Rhea has called back all of the knights who were out searching to round them up. Seems like it could take some time for them to make it back here, but she didn't ask for our help. Perhaps to prevent you running headfirst toward revenge? It's only natural that you would leap at the chance for it. Anyone would. No. I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Listen, Rhea, and Lady Rhea, this move is the most strategic. The military strategy I'm devising will soon echo across Fodlin's history. I'm sure of it. Just think about it. Most of the knights are still far away, and we can't afford to have Sedith and friends abandon the monastery. So the only person who can take action now also happens to be our best commander. It's Teach, and wherever Teach leads, we'll follow. And since you've taught us that this sort of thing is always a possibility, we're already prepared for battle. We can buy the knights more time, not for revenge, but for a defensive attack on behalf of the monastery. Professor, 
Do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. We have our orders, Teach. Now all that's left is to pull out a miracle. Someone's having fun. Maybe it's coming from the greenhouse. That was really fun, Bernie. Good thing I found such an out-of-the-way spot to play. Only the pretty flowers hurt me here. Isn't that right, little flower? You're the only one who heard, aren't you? What did you think? That was amazing! <laughs> Why is your voice so deep? What? I'm no flower. Oh no, Raphael, you heard it all, didn't you? I did! What kind of instrument was that? I could hear it all the way over at the training grounds. It was great. I didn't know you could play. All the way from the training grounds? <laughs> That's right. Then I came here to tell you how good you sounded. Good? No. No, I'm on to you. First, you flatter me, then you get me to perform on stage in front of everyone to humiliate me! Uh... no? But that's a great idea. Everyone should be able to hear your music. Ah, I knew it! Monster! I won't fall victim to your schemes! I don't know what just happened, but I think I might have scared her. Professor Hanneman, is this a good spot for this book? That will do nicely, Lysithia. I'm sorry to trouble you with these chores. It's no trouble. After all, it's proper etiquette for the young to help the elderly. The elderly? I'm only... Ugh. Never mind. How have you been feeling of late? Anything worth mentioning? I've been feeling well enough, all things considered. You seem to be maturing remarkably. No doubt your well-being is due to the positive influence of your twin crests working in tandem. Here he goes with the positive again. Looks like your research is more useless than I thought. I may ignore your assaults on my age, but I will not allow unfettered attacks upon my research. What makes you think it's lacking? Surely you do not deny that your crest-related abilities exceed those of your peers. You are so far ahead of the others. Even the combined effects of the twin crests you bear do not fully account for that discrepancy. You just can't see beyond the crest, can you? In all your research, haven't you considered that my abilities are a direct result of the effort I've put in? Of course I am aware that you are a hardworking student, but... My efforts far exceed those of any other student. I've placed top priority on growing as quickly as possible. Is the ability to expend such incredible efforts, to be so focused and driven, is that not a form of talent? It has nothing to do with talent. It's a question of sheer will. I'm determined to succeed, no matter the sacrifice. I see. But what drives you to such lengths? I have goals, just like anyone. And precious little time in which to achieve them. Little time? The people who made me as I am informed me that my life would be drastically shortened as a result. <sighs> A person bearing two crests against the will of nature itself. 
Well, clearly, it can't be sustainable. As such, I don't indulge in the luxury of fantasizing about the future. I haven't got one. Knowing all this now, do you still claim that my crests are something positive? I... I cannot. Please understand, I had no idea. I'll be leaving now. Lysithia, so that is why you are... Ah, there it is, just as I thought. But what is she hiding? Oh, Linhart. My apologies. I didn't mean to bother you. Ah, Marianne. You're no bother at all. In fact, you've arrived at precisely the right time. Huh? The right time for what? You have a crest, don't you? Uh, I don't... What are you saying? If you hide it, that just makes it more interesting. You do have one. I, um... Please don't tell anyone. You can't tell anyone I have a crest. If people find out, then... What? Please, my adoptive father told me to keep it a secret. And I personally don't want it known. Who said I intended to tell anyone? Your secret is safe with me. I find it fascinating that you carry the crest of the erased hero. Please stop, don't say another word. No one should know about or even speak of my crest. Nothing good comes of it. It's even the reason my parents disappeared. This crest only brings bad luck to anyone who comes near me. Even you, Linhart. You have to stay away. Bad luck generated by the crest? Now that would be a discovery well worth making. What manner of bad luck do you suppose might beset me? No, you shouldn't be so cavalier about something you couldn't possibly understand. I... I have to go. It's true, I don't understand. But I very much want to. <laughs> The sealed forest is up ahead. Visibility is awful there, so everyone needs to be extra cautious. You seem to know a lot about it. It is just a forest, isn't it? Have you been there too? Oh, never mind. Listen, just like I told the Archbishop, this is not a war of vengeance. It's a riddle, so to speak. Those guys are undoubtedly planning something terrible. We need some kind of clue as to what. The attack on the Holy Mausoleum, Flane's kidnapping, that foul business in Remire, the demonic beasts at the chapel. It can't go on. We need to figure out their objective and stop them from achieving it. That's our mission. So we have our mission now. We had better not fail. It is a difficult task, but we will succeed. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. An enemy whose objective you don't understand is a frightening prospect. We're gonna destroy him. It's our mission! I will have my revenge, whatever it takes. On that, I will never budge. Leone, you will have what you seek. I'll admit, vengeance sounds pretty nice. But don't forget that we're here for information. Luckily, we can easily find what we're looking for while getting revenge for Gerald. Right, Teach?
Whatever it takes. I guess I'll try it. How kind of them to welcome us with some demonic beasts. They're not playing around. Hello, you're here. Welcome to the Forest of Death. <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Ready anytime. Thank you. Sorry. Who, me? Ready and willing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ready when you are. I got this. I think I've gotten stronger. Stay focused. to me. I stand ready. Thank you. I've really made this my own. be forced to escape oh or do you simply intend to let me go how accommodating of you as for me I intend to kill you all <laughs> I do. I've got a grasp on this. Ah! 
Not so fast! My lessons are complete. If you say so. I got this. Our power is yours. Hey, I got an idea. Well done. <laughs> thing.
as much. Wow. I'm so sorry. Who knew? Try even harder next time. Next one's mine. Strike. Thank you. Much 
that helps. Monica, you'll pay for what you've done. I told you! I am not Monica. I am Kranya! Do not call me by that fake name. I don't care what you're called. I don't care if it takes my last breath. I'll kill you! Please. My powers are beyond your comprehension. You're just a filthy worm. Don't mess this up! to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too, with my own hands. Huh? Obvious. Oh, how cute! You're trying so hard! But now, it's time to die! Sorry. But how? How can I really lose to a lowly creature like you? Well. Certainly do. Huh? <laughs> Have no fear, Kranya. Your sacrifice will help to rid this world of the filthy vermin that have long infested it.
time has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies! Be gone with you, Felstar. What? What was that? Where did you go, Professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the Forbidden Spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think. We almost had the sword of the Creator. I don't believe anything you say. Our Professor is still alive. That's right. Our Professor is no ordinary human. I refuse to believe that Teach would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend. But there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape. Overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. Hey, all I hear is good news. Teach is still alive. And if that's true, then there's only one thing to do. Defeat you while we wait for Teach's triumphant return. Prepare yourself. We will avenge our leader here and now. How trite. But if you wish for pain, I shall oblige. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. You fool! What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Excuses won't help us! This darkness is terrifying! As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then... I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have... ...to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass... ...then I shall disappear. 
When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? teach, right? I always believed in you. I knew you could cut your way out of anything. Let's go ahead and take down Solar, and then we can reflect on what happened. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. expected. Like what you see? Oh. 
more I can learn. Thanks for that. Stick with it.
coming. In this situation, my efforts are paying off. that. Sorry, but victory is mine. I've reached the pinnacle. Impressive. I gave it my all.
That's helpful. Thank you. Huh. Appreciate it. Another step forward. It seems I've exhausted this topic. Well done. That helps. Thank you. Ready when you are. Well done. I am terrified by you. Even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me, that means you must be eliminated. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. I will master this. So nice of 
of you. I'll manage. I'll celebrate later. I would lose to mere beasts. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission somehow. I guess this is still far from over. Teach, we won. I'll be honest, when I lost sight of you, I broke into a cold sweat. But Gerald's killer is dead. All's well that ends well. You're kidding, right? I understood putting it off while we were in battle, but now that it's over, just go ahead and spit it out. That hair, those eyes, that unfathomable power. What happened out there? You mean to tell me that an entity who claims to be the goddess was living in your mind? And it's been that way since you were a baby? And this goddess entrusted all of her goddess-like power to you and then vanished? It's a difficult story to swallow, Teach. But the way you look now, I guess I've got no choice but to believe it. How could something like that happen? There must be a clue in Gerald's diary. If you believe the diary, there's a high possibility that Rhea did something to you when you were born. That's likely when all this began. What in the world happened to you as a baby? And what was Rhea after? Teach, what's the matter? Did you trip or... Wait, are you sleeping? This must be an effect of the goddess's power. I wonder if Teach's body can handle the strain. Think, Claude. What now? Should I carry him on my back? <laughs> Easier said than done. Can time flow? See the glow of flames ever burning bright. Professor, you must remain still. Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. Lovely, it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator. I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis 
which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you. Always. Always and forever. <laughs>